stitched together by a network of highways and boulevards that span a thousand square miles, Los Angeles is a melting pot of social and cultural diversity. For decades, the city has been a magnet for aspiring actors and actresses, all dreaming of becoming American cinema's next big thing. Whilst Hollywood represents the glitz and glamour of LA, another suburb represents the city's flip side. Referred to as the drive-by capital of the world, Compton is one of the city's toughest neighbourhoods and has long been associated with gangs such as the Bloods and the Crips. There is, however, a more unusual gang that's utilising a quintessentially English sport to offer the area's residents a way out of the cycle of crime and violence that haunts its streets. The Compton Cricket Club. There's no way people could actually imagine cricket and Compton in, in the same sentence because it's totally opposites. You know, you have Compton has this image of gangsterism, uh, killings, uh, everything that everything that's bad versus cricket that's everything that's good. So it's you know it's an oxymoron. Nicknamed the Homies and the Pops, the team was founded in 1995 by homeless activist Ted Hayes and film producer Katie Haber. Having worked together at the Dome Village, a homeless community in downtown Los Angeles, Katie introduced Ted to the sport when the Beverly Hills and Hollywood Cricket Club needed an extra player. When I went to learn cricket at Katie's behest uh, and played as 11th man for the Beverly Hills Cricket Club, when um, I saw the game, I loved the dance, the squareness of the cricket, the whole bug. Bowling, batting, catching, the ideas of cricket, the beautiful sport. The most beautiful sport in the world, as far as I'm concerned, the king of sports. Go, baby, go. Go, Originally called the LA Crickets, the team was made up primarily of homeless players, but now also includes former gang members. A regular participant in the LA Social Cricket Alliance League, the club's aim is to address homelessness and to curb the negative effects of gang activities amongst the youth of inner city Los Angeles through the principles and ethics of cricket. <laughs> cricket goes beyond the boundary, I believe. If you go onto the cricket field with that kind of thinking, by the time the game is over, when you leave the field, you are a much better person that came on the field in the first place. The club relies solely on sponsorship and donations for its funding and utilizes various fields in the greater Los Angeles area to play its matches, although the team has also been on tours to Britain and Australia. Compton is still often thought of as a primarily black community, but Latinos are the largest ethnic group in the area, and the team reflects this diversity. Many of its members are former gangsters, and a number have spent time in jail. The club uses the ideals of sportsmanship and the importance of etiquette and fair play in cricket to help players develop respect for authority and a sense of self-esteem. I see cricket as a moving, uh, physical, zen meditation that no matter what goes on out there, if you've learned it correctly, when you leave, you're stronger and you demonstrate that kind of etiquette with your family, your friends, your school, your job, police, even the guy that's got a gun in your face saying, you know what, homie, use a sissy mf -er. Now, if you're a cat that's not deep from cricket or have good discipline in your soul, you'll go, man, bunk you, I'm a mad dog, you back and bang. You're dead, and a lot of guys in this country die just over that alone. In 2009, the club had to deal with the loss of one of its own. 20-year-old Jesse Cazares, whose two elder brothers, Emidio and Ricardo, play on the team, was an innocent victim in a drive-by shooting. It's a testament to the club's efforts that Jesse remains the only Compton player to have died in gang-related violence since the team was founded. However, his death is a stark reminder that violence is very much a way of life here. When you're in Compton and you're on a field and you're playing or something, you hear gunshots, 
just have to struggle it off. That's life. Death, drive-by shootings, tragedy is so common in these neighborhoods. While cricket is offering these players a fresh outlook on life, it doesn't mean they're turning their backs on other pursuits associated with the neighborhood. Cricket! Having gained notoriety following the 1988 release of NWA's album Straight Outta Compton, the area has long been associated with West Coast hip hop. Under the alias Cloth, Ted's sons, Theo and Isaac, have released a number of tracks that combine elements of Compton and cricket. Utilizing a medium popular amongst many of LA's inner city youth, their music further emphasizes the team's key message of change. We've been doing music for so long, you know, that it was only, it was only right for us to, to implicate the two together. You know, we love cricket, we love music, Americans love music, they don't understand cricket, but we're American, and we're understanding cricket, so the best way to do it, fuse them together and see what comes out, and what you're, what you're getting is what you see. We got shots, we got bullets, no chance, I mean, we got songs, you know, that, um, that just show where we come from and what we represent and what we're trying to get to with the kids, you know, and the people period of America. We feel the best way to introduce cricket to the American youth is not so much just saying, hey, here's a sport. We feel if we can bring it with um, the, um, the element of music and hip-hop, something they can relate to, we use it as a translation, to get them more excited about the sport. And once we got them into the sport, then the etiquette will come along and the rules of the game. But the first thing is to attract them initially, and we feel that the music, the hip-hop style of music, will attract them to the sport. You're suffering, you got suckered into the pressure. So go ahead, grab your line off the dresser, or use your mind and be kind of the good gesture. The duo enjoyed musical success straight off the bat in 2009 with their debut song called Bullets. Respect of a cricket etiquette is how we hang it. Polish my knowledge. And you, I promise, I've seen the light. No time to keep the shot. Bullets was our first song, you know, so it's the foundation. It represents us. It's a, um, it's a street song. It comes from the streets. You know, it's not about the, um, the rules of the sport. You know, it's about the rules of life, what, what we've learned. You know, it, it's, it's serious to us. Earlier this year, the club entered a partnership with the Los Angeles Police Department, using cricket to promote a greater sense of community and cultural understanding across all of LA's ethnic groups. It seems the club's ethos is moving beyond the boundary of Compton. We're just trying to send a message out to try to show everybody that cricket is one of the best sports to play, and that I feel honored to play for this team because this is like one of the only sports I ever stuck with. You know, to this day. You know my Steve, legit, physically fit. My kids fat with a PS. That in it, pitch a six anytime, anywhere, any place. I represent the state, and you know that play straight. I'm in the popping. As a result of their work in communities, both locally and further afield, the club has been the subject of a stage production commissioned by the Los Angeles. Angeles Opera. The production is called Hip Hopera and charts the team's rise from their humble beginnings to their current status as U.S. cricket ambassadors of goodwill and peace. And we, we just want to thank cricket and we want to say to cricket that without y'all, you know, we, 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 you know, we'd be, you know, we'd be in a lot of trouble. And so we, we owe cricket. Please allow us to represent cricket and support us, we, want, we need the world to support us and bring us into the society of cricket. Since their foundation 16 years ago, it's evident that the homies and the pops have achieved their goal of becoming much more than just a sports team. And Compton Cricket Club appears set to educate and inspire for years to come. Compton Cricket! Compton Cricket! Compton Cricket! Compton cricket. Compton cricket. Yeah. Yeah.